YFS TV here with Jason and Sam, the coaching staff from Nith Valley United. Guys, you might have picked a better day. Uh, the weather was terrible today, but it really was. Uh, it's a good part we've got, the park held up fine. Uh, conditions for the boys was terrible, but uh, fair play to both teams. Both teams gave it their best, so they did, and we got the result that we wanted in the end. And you, you surprised Jason that the game wasn't abandoned? Because it was pretty bad out there. I thought maybe 15, 20 minutes into the second half, I noticed the water was starting to, starting to lie in certain areas of the ground. And I'm not like the sky, I'm going, we could actually be doing that rain going off for 10, 15 minutes just to let the. But the rain was relentless. There was certain, I wouldn't say the hill park, the water was lying on it, but there were certain wee areas that you've seen as the game progressed there. Only time you try to play through it, the water, the boss stop the water. But as Sam says, credit to both teams, 11 goal, 6 5 thriller. Do you know what I mean? And, and, and your boys showed a lot of spirit to be 3 2 doing at, at the end of the first half. After leading 2 0 and, and that weather, a lot of teams would have just said, let's get this game by. And, and, but they, they fought back. Definitely. I mean, uh, to be honest with you, really that's happened with, with us all season. Uh, the boys are absolutely tremendous characters, they're really hard and, and they, they try, they really try to get the ball down and play and when the chips are done, they never lie down, never ever have done. All season they've been absolutely outstanding and me and Jason, I mean, we're so proud of them, but it's, they're, they're, a, they're a joy to work with, they really are. And it, it's, that's a big, big result for you Jason? Well, the, the way the results went last week, it meant where we club went to the league. No, we're not saying football, the easy part is getting to the top, the hardest part is staying there. So, as Sam and I spoke during the week at length, when you go to the league, there is added pressure because you're the team that's leading the league now and it's everybody's cup final, you're the team you beat. Valspar, that's three cracking games we've had against Valspar this year, it's three each, three two, new six five. Came back to the first half. Playing against the wind, up to nil, it could have been three or four, and I felt it took half by maybe 20, 25 minutes to get into the game. But with a wee 10 minute spell before half time, where every time not the part scored. But as Sam said, yeah, that's the last three games, our guys, our team have been in at half time, down the goals, and come back and win every game. So, over the moon, you know, that their attitude has been superb all season, not just the players, the, the parents. The local community, they've really barked us and fingers crossed now with all that support behind us, we're actually getting the the products that everybody deserves. And do you think we'll be back here in Sa Sam in April or May to see us lifting the title? It's, uh, we're not taking it that, uh, looking that far down the line, but we'll, we'll take it game to game there and that's, I mean, Jason myself, we've got a lot of experience in the game and we, we know we know not to jump the gun, we know to take it game by game and we will, and the boys know that too, they'll take it game by game, we'll prepare during the week training, prepare them for the game on a Saturday and we'll, we'll take what comes away. Okay, best of luck for the rest of the season guys. Thanks very much. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.